Hello, everyone. Welcome to the training sessions, Passwords Octobers in three minutes. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through common troubleshoot cases. Sometimes manually running the workflow works, but it may still have problems in the test run, like scraping gets no data and stops directly after the run, or it might scrape scrape less data or duplicates and the data fields may be scraped to the wrong place. I will explain to you how to resolve these common issues. First the common problem is that no data is scraped. This usually happens when the web page is not loaded well. So how can we resolve this? We can extend the timeouts for the go to web page. Make sure the timeout is long enough for the page to load. And for some cases, we may use this scroll down, set up some scrolls to make sure the page can be loaded well. And we can also set up wait time for the next step after the go to web page. Because in some cases that the data may not be loaded when the page is loaded. So we can set up wait time and Octobers will wait for some time before exact, before performing the next step. The second common issue is that the task may scrape less data than it should do. This could also be caused by the web page not loading well. So we can set up a longer timeout for go to web page as we said before, or use scroll page with time to resolve this. Another setting we can check is the click to paginate. We can extend the Ajax load timeout here to make sure the next pages can be loaded well. Another possibility is that the pagination is not always working during the scraping. That means it may click on the next page button on the first page but fails to do on the following pages. It might click the third page and then the fifth page. So during the scraping, it can skip multiple pages. So the data scraped would be less. If that is the case, we can try to modify the X pass of the pagination here to make sure it can always locate the next page button. And less data could also be related to the loop item mode. As we mentioned before that if the loop mode is the fixed list, it could miss some data. So we can try to change it to variable list and make sure the loop item will locate as many elements as we want. Another problem is about duplicates. Duplicates are the data lines that are the same in all the columns. In local run, you can choose to delete duplicates when exporting the data. And in cloud run, duplicates will be deleted automatically during the scraping. But why does the task scrape duplicates? Firstly, it is possible that pagination has something wrong. In some cases, the pagination might locate the previous page button during the scraping process, so it scrapes the data that has been captured again. Or the pagination still locates the next button on the last page and keeps scraping the last page data. This can also be resolved by modifying the pagination X pass. Another possible reason is when scraping multiple pages, the Ajax timeout of the pagination is too short. So we need to extend the Ajax timeout for the click to paginate. The last common problem we'd like to cover here today is about data views. Sometimes there will be blank data views or some data is captured to a wrong column. This is because data views on different pages are not always in the same position. For example, let's look at two 
Amazon example pages. For this one, it has a manufacturer in the product details. But for this one, there is no manufacturer. So you can see that the ASIN is in line 7 on this product page, but it is in line 6 on this page. So if we take the ASIN data field from this web page, the XPath generated might not work for this page. We may need to modify the XPath of the data fields. We can click more and XPath, customize XPath, then modify the XPath here, or we can add a alternate XPath. Use this button to select the element and it will generate an XPath for you. That's all about how to troubleshoot a task. To sum up, the important, the important settings that you should pay attention to are firstly, web page timeout, including the timeout of go to web page and Ajax timeout for click to paginate. Second is pagination. Make sure the X pass always locates the next button. Third is the loop item. Make sure it includes all the elements you want with the correct loop mode. And you may, you may have found the importance of using a correct XPath. We highly recommend you to learn more about XPath. It will help a lot in troubleshooting the workflow. <laughs>